My name is Zebulon Crawford. I'm actually 32 years old. Zebulon is actually my middle name. My full name is Ronnie Zebulon Crawford Jr. So being that dad didn't rock my name right, I just had to take it and twist it around and do it better than him. You know, you always gotta be better than your predecessor. Yeah, rest in peace. So I live out in Westchester, New York. Um, I have been designing for about 13 years, specializing in evening wear for women, mostly prom dresses, and uh, ex exclusively unique design neckties for men. Blazer, and there are buttons, they're actually functioning buttons, and then it comes with a bolero jacket that actually has buttons up the sleeve, and up the back of the sleeve, as well as the back of the jacket. And the sleeves are actually functioning, so they open to become cut. I actually started designing back in 1998, where I actually designed a really good friend's prom dress. And she actually said to me, she said, I want a dress that's going to make people say, why would she wear that? And so I said, well, you know, being the class clown that I am, well, why not wear the letter Y to the prom? And so she actually said, okay. And so once I designed the dress for her, she wore it and it actually stopped the prom. Like it, 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 it was just phenomenal. As a designer, I feel that my creativity will actually help people to look at the world a lot differently because it will help people to see that anything really is possible through fashion. Looking at a spool of thread, you can get a lot of inspiration from the cylindrical nature or just the thread that's actually on the spool. I mean, get inspired by anything and then you can turn anything into a real wearable article of clothing. Or fabric, like I love to keep fabric around me because fabric in itself is just something that you can look at it, you can feel it, you can see the color, the vividness of the color and you can actually be, once again, inspired by the fabric. So if you have a fabric that's very flowy, you would either think to make maybe a flowy dress or gown, or maybe just a nice little tank top. Something, you know, no form, just flowy, something that somebody could wear just like in a day in Bryant Park. So just keeping the elements of fashion around me is something that allows me to live in fashion. Fashion inspirations are Bob Mackey and Alexander McQueen. So this is actually one of the featured pieces of my collection. It's actually a new collection that I'm doing. It's actually called Eternally Yours. This is a fleur de lis dress that I'm working on. This is an uh, illusion mesh and it is a plain open back. Um, a lot of the other pieces that I have, uh, the flower that is the theme flower for the collection is Calla Lily, so I have a Calla Lily blazer with four ounce crystals on the back. I also have a sequin bikini, I have a sequin tank top. Which is Project Runway gives me access to celebrity insiders that will give me celebrity insider feedback. Uh, I could actually go to someone on the street, I could actually go to a person who is experienced in giving fashion show or holding fashion shows or has been designing for years. But when you get that sharp, two-edged sword type of criticism with your clothing, that actually gives you what the industry is willing to sell and what the industry likes to see. When you get that opinion, in your mind, it's up to you to take it or leave it. Also, uh, the exposure. Project Runway has a great great uh, history of getting designers exposure and notice.